Zaira was seen, a Muslim actress, quits Bollywood to follow faith. Now, Zaira Wasim is an 18-year-old actress in Bollywood and she had a major role in a film called Dangal. Now, Bollywood is the largest sector in the biggest film industry in the world, that is India. It's not really a joke, even though I'm not a Bollywood fan. Quitting Bollywood is a major thing, alright? So... The reasoning she gave is that Bollywood, her career in Bollywood affected her relationship with Allah, affected her faith, affected her religion. Now, I want to make something clear that considering she is an independent woman, she has the complete right to do whatever she wants with her career. If she wants to quit her career, if she wants to join another career, if she wants to be careerless, that's totally up to her and it's her decision. So bashing her for quitting Bollywood is not really a very sensible thing to do. But everything before the word but is horseshit. But I'm not trying to create any conspiracy theories here, but is she really independent? Let's think about it. She's a Muslim woman. Now, Islam isn't the best religion when it comes to women rights. It is like horrible. In Islam, in the Quran, women are given half of the rights that men get. Okay, so, and Islam also says that women are a degree below men women's value are half that of men and so on now is she really independent i mean has she made the decisions herself or were somebody were some others involved in making that decision for her like males in her families her parents maybe maybe someone else who convinced her about it i mean what I'm trying to say is, maybe it was not completely her decision. If it was her decision, that's fine. However, like the Sliman has been said, it's a moronic decision. It's a very moronic decision, but it's her decision and that's fine. But did she really quit Bollywood where she was having so much success? just to follow her faith. Twitter has mixed feelings about this with half of the Twitter population calling her crazy because of her actions and the other half saying that we should respect her choices because it's her life. Which I kind of agree with. It's her life. She can do whatever she wants provided that she wants to do that. It's her, not someone controlling her. In this case, Islam and Islamic law. Saira mentions the word threatened when she talks about why she quits Bollywood. She says that her career threatened her religion, her relationship with the religion. Now, okay, we can get how a career of a woman can threaten Islam, but you know that when your religion is threatened by your career, it's not really a good religion. A woman decided to go for her own career in a movie industry and her religion is threatened by it. Really? And that's a very crazy religion to begin with. I mean, it's very Islamic to be threatened by an independent woman. I just hope Zaire realizes that what she did is not her own independence. She is being controlled by a religion Islam. I'm probably in no place to say this, but what would her relationship with Islam be like if she stayed in Bollywood? Would it be threatened? Well, according to her, yes, it would be threatened. But then why? Why would her relationship be threatened? Is it because Islam doesn't want independent women? It doesn't like independent women? 
It only lacks independent men, but women are deeply below men. Is it because of that? Like seriously, why is Islam threatened by a woman's choice and choice of career in a movie industry? Think about it. I'm Shivam of the Queer Indian Atheist. Until next time.